Look, there's a crane. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. So please check me out. It's right before Passover, and I have a couple hours to spare, so I decided to do a little walk, and I found this poplar tulip, which comes from a giant tall tree, right here in the state of Georgia, and I decided to do a special uh, closure memorial because Lois loved garden, and again, we didn't have a funeral, and I thought that uh, this would be the opportunity to uh, have some closure in my life. So in a minute, I'm going to be uh, reciting the uh, Mornis Kaddish, which is what, what my people and I normally uh, chant whenever we've had tragedy in our lives or whenever we've had mourning in our lives. So I, I am not going to um, record it because I've got the, the words on my phone. However, I probably will uh, throw this in the river. I will show you throwing this in the river, but actually it's not a river, it's a small creek. Uh, what I'm going to do to be exact is stand over the water and say the uh, Mourner's Kaddish, and then afterwards I'm going to throw this into the water. I'm trying to find a spot here where I can just throw this in. So, Lois, may you rest in peace. Misha I can't sing the rest, but either way, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw this in. One, two, three. Rest in peace, Lois. No, that doesn't look like, that doesn't look right either. Take two. One, two. Since I didn't get to scatter her ashes in her garden or in her yard or in Savannah, that was it. That was the perfect place to put that poplar tulip, or put that poplar blossom, representing my aunt, my late Aunt Lois, and all the things she did for me. Your memories will always live on in my mind. And the six years, six, and the six grand years of you taking me in, taking care of me. and helping me move forward in my life and beyond all of the bad choices that I made in the wrong situation with my roommates uh, that were bullies to me and all the people that got the wrong impression about me. Your memories will always live on, Lois. May you rest in peace. Misha Berach.